Hello, hello, and welcome to Stitch and Bear Time. My name is Leslie, here with Peekaboo and Little Bear, and I got another stocking to show you called Glitz Santa. It is beginner friendly, it is so different from the other Brusilla stockings, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. This stocking is so different from the typical Busilla stocking because there isn't a single clear bead in this kit, which is so different. You are not grabbing your stuffing at all. Um, it's a very flat stocking, not much of a 3D element to it, but full, full of sparkle once you get all those sequins on there. So this kit tells you to do the top and bottom first, get the white felt on, get it all embellished, and then you're going to work on the face. And um, there is some satin stitching involved in the face, but I think it's actually a really good one for beginners. You're not working on intricate lips or anything like that. They're big areas. And if you put the felt on first before you satin stitch, it's going to go just fine. So the next part of this, you're going to put um, a string of beads on all of those black areas, those black lines. And I do have a mini video on how to lay down a string of beads like that. I think it's in my beads video part two. So take a look at that if you need help. And then I also have a mini video on how to lay down sequins flat like that to fill an area. So also take a look at that. I have a playlist full of mini videos, so it's all there. As you can see, I went back and forth between getting like a line of beads on, filling an area, and then putting on the sequins um, just to make it more interesting for me because it gets a little boring doing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, it, it ended up starting to get very, very heavy because of all those sequins. I think my favorite color on here is actually the purple. I quite enjoyed the purple. <laughs> um, so then I, I decided to do the top last, even though the instructions say to do that a lot earlier. I had to redo the ho ho hos um, because I didn't use enough strands. I realized I needed to double that up and it looked so much better once I got those to be a little thicker. Um, as I was stitching, I kept getting interrupted by my dogs. <laughs> That's peekaboo there. And you'll see little bear, little bear here pretty soon. I don't know how, what happens to you guys, but when I stitch, they're always putting their noses in what I'm doing. They're always putting their face right there, trying to figure out what I'm up to. Um, so let me know in the comments below if your dogs, your cats, are always getting in, involved in your stitching. But I definitely have that happen a lot. <laughs> um, I wanted to show the back of my stocking. Just note that it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as your knots are secure to hold everything in the front. So that's what mine looks like. And then that's it. You secure the front to the back, put a lining in there, and get your tag on the back. Don't forget to label your stocking because I think that's pretty important. And there you go. It's all done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. And I do have a Facebook page called Stitch and Bear Time. Bye.